Hello and welcome, brothers and sisters. This is the Healing Eucharist Daily Mass, and we are happy and blessed to have you, that you are here with us this day and you are with us every day. For all of your intentions and all of the prayers in your heart, of course, you could type them out in our comment section so we could all pray together for all of these prayers in your hearts. Also, you could send us your intentions via the link that you see here in the screen. That's bit.ly slash healing mass intentions. Or you could go to this QR code. This QR code, you could scan this QR code and it will bring you to that link as well. All of your intentions will be included in the masses for tomorrow. And we thank you once again for all of your support. Maraming salamat po sa lahat ng inyong suporta, your prayers, your words of encouragement, the stars that you send us. Maraming salamat po. And all of the, all of the help that you have um, reached out to us, maraming salamat po. May God bless you a thousandfold. Our priest presider today is Reverend Father Emmy Lim, SVD. We also celebrate the memorial of St. Francis de Sales, Bishop and Doctor of the Church. We now begin our celebration. Let heaven rejoice and earth be glad. Let all creation sing. Let children proclaim to In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God the Father, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Dear brothers and sisters, together with all the intentions being offered online on this Healing Eucharist Daily Mass, uh, in a special way, I would like to offer it for the safe trip of my younger sister, a Dominican nun, as she goes back to her mission in Rome. To prepare ourselves to celebrate this Mass, let us be mindful of our sins, confess them to the Lord, and ask God to forgive us. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May the Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, direct our actions according to your good pleasure, that in the name of your beloved Son, we may abound in good works. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. The Liturgy of the Word. A reading from the second book of Samuel. 
all the tribes of Israel came to David in Hebron and said, Here we are, your bone and your flesh. In days past, when Saul was our king, it was you who led the children of Israel out and brought them back. And the Lord said to you, you shall shepherd my people Israel and shall be commander of Israel. When all the leaders of Israel came to David in Hebron, King David made an agreement with them there before the Lord, and they anointed him king of Israel. David was 30 years old when he became king, and he reigned for 40 years, seven years and six months in Hebron over Judah, and 30 years in Jerusalem over all Israel and Judah. Then the king and his men set out for Jerusalem against the Jebusites who inhabited the region. David was told, you cannot enter here. The blind and the lame will drive you away, which was their way of saying, David cannot enter here. But David did take the stronghold of Zion, which is the city of David. David grew steadily more powerful, for the Lord of hosts was with him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. My faithfulness and my mercy shall be with him. My faithfulness and my mercy shall be with him. Once you spoke in a vision, and to your faithful ones you said, On a champion, I have placed a crown. Over the faithful I have set a you. My faithfulness and my mercy shall be with him. I have found David, my servant. With my holy oil, I have anointed him, that my hand may be always with him, and that my arm may make him strong. My faithfulness and my mercy shall be with him. My faithfulness and my mercy shall be with him, and through my name shall his horn be exalted. I will set his hand upon the sea, his right hand upon the rivers. My faithfulness and my mercy shall be with him. Our Savior Jesus Christ has destroyed death and brought life to light through the gospel. with you and with your spirit a reading from the holy gospel according to mark glory to you O lord the scribes who had come from jerusalem said of jesus he is possessed by beelzebul and by the prince of demons he drives out demons summoning them he began to speak to them in parables how can Satan drive out Satan? If a kingdom is divided against itself, that kingdom cannot stand. And if a house is divided against itself, that house will not be able to stand. And if Satan has risen up against himself and is divided, he cannot stand. That 
is the end of him. But no one can enter a strong man's house to plunder his property unless he first ties up the strong man. Then he can plunder his house. Amen, I say to you, all sins and all blasphemies that people utter will be forgiven them. But whoever blasphemes against the Holy Spirit will never have forgiveness, but is guilty of an everlasting sin. For they had said, he has an unclean spirit. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Blessed evening, dear brothers and sisters. We have all experienced some negative comments from other people. We might have been criticized. And we console ourselves by saying that, yeah, you cannot please everybody. Or that they, in Tagalog, they say, ang punong binabato ay yung hitik or yung puno ng bunga. Or they say, they will try to pull you down because you are above them. Denzel Washington said, uh, well, nobody can criticize you unless you have more than what they are doing. So marami tayong mga pampalubag loob para we can cope up with some negative treatments from other people. But I am most comforted by the fact that Jesus himself was not spared by uh, detractors, by comments, by negativity, by criticisms. And so here in today's gospel from Mark, we hear how Jesus was uh, referred to as possessed by, by evil spirits. And they say, by the prince of demons, he drives out demons, implying that Jesus is the prince of demons. I could imagine that Jesus himself was uh, wearing a, a knowing smile. Yung, alam mo, parang alam niya, and napapangiti lang siya. In fact, natatawa rin ako. Because Jesus would have known even the evil spirits would not dare such, uh, say such a thing. In fact, in another part of the gospel, no, when, when Jesus encounters the evil spirits to drive them away, and they would shout and they would declare, we know who you are. You are the Holy One of God. So even the evil spirits know who Jesus really is, that he is the Son of God, that he is God himself. And yet here we are. Um, we could say uh, ignorant fools who would say, yeah, it's a prince of demons uh, driving out demons so he can command evil spirits to go. Well, Oh, sour griping lang sila because they cannot do what Jesus was doing. And so, Jesus in dealing with this, and we can learn from this, you know, hindi naman basta na lang umatras ang ating Panginoon. Hindi na lang siya basta sumuko. O hindi din siya tumahimik lang. He addressed because he knew very well that they are coming from a masamang loob, no? madumi ang isip, and especially faulty ang kanilang logic. Kasi yung logic nila, prince of demons, driving out demons. Yun ang kanilang logic. And so Jesus pointed out to them how wrong they were in doing, in saying so. Because if, the, if they're, according to their argument, then Satan would fall. No? Yung arguments will not hold. And Satan himself, sabi nga ng ating Panginoon, that is the end of Satan if he goes against his own. Well, just a small thought for us. Sometimes, uh, ang worst critics ng mga followers of Jesus, ng mga Christians, nating mga Katoliko, ay yung kapwa natin. No? And so, we cannot afford to be divided. The beauty of our church, the universal Catholic church, Catholic meaning universal, is that we are supposed to be united under one Apostle, and that is the Pope, and uh, the government of the, the church is united. And yet there is diversity. But there are local churches, may mga obispo ito, and yet united into one faith, one baptism, one Lord. So as long as we keep on in that unity, you know, being compassionate, understanding, 
kind towards our own be- fellow believers, then we can stand. Pero pag tayo-tayo na ang naglaban-laban, well, yung argument ng mga scribes will uh, will be true to us. We will be divided, we will fall. And so, we have to uh, be united with one another. And so, in Jesus, in pointing out the faulty logic, instead, gave them a a good and bright logic in that, you know, pumapasok lamang ang evil spirit kapag natalo niya yung strong man. But for as long as the owner of that house is strong, then the thief, the evil, cannot come in. Ganun din po sa ating buhay. Ang pagpinabayaan po natin na ang kasamaan ay unti-unting uh, magbubulok sa ating kalooban na pinapayagan natin ang ating sarili na makorap ng kasamaan, then we will slide down. We will become weak spiritually. But for as long as we are strong spiritually, we nourish ourselves through the Eucharist, kahit na virtual, kahit na online mass, but we nourish ourselves with the sacrament, kahit na ito ay spiritual communion lamang, but we get to hear the Word of God where Jesus is present also. We get to commune virtually together as a community where Christ is present. Then we still belong to the church whenever we could come to our parishes. Then we remain strong inside. And we will not give even an inch of our personal space to the evil one. Wag po nating pabayaan na ang kasamaan ay unti-unting magbulok sa atin. So with that, and here is a, a, a curious uh, saying of Jesus that a lot of people are asking, ano po ang ibig sabihin nitong uh, blasphemies against the Holy Spirit that will not be forgiven? Well, it also has the explanation because they said that he has an unclean spirit. But we know that Jesus operates because of the Holy Spirit working in him. In fact, yung power of God in Jesus was oozing. No? Mahawakan lamang ang kanyang damit, gumagaling ang may sakit. So nag-uumapaw ang kapangyarihan ng Diyos because nag-uumapaw ang Holy Spirit ng gumagalaw kay Jesus. And how can they say that He has an unclean spirit? And so ganun din po tayo. Pero alam niyo mga kapatid, meron din po kasi mga ibang um, sekta o kulto na nagsasabi na the Lord is just human, yung mga Aryan uh, philosophy. Sasabihin ko na po, kagaya po ng tinuturo ng Iglesia ni Cristo, hindi po natin matatanggap yun. In fact, hindi natin makukonsider na Christian yun kung merong magsasabi na Jesus Christ is just a good good man, uh, maybe chosen by God, but not God himself. We cannot accept that. For us, Jesus is the Son of God, He is Lord, He is God Himself. And so with that, dear brothers and sisters, let, let, let us uh, profess it always in our way of life, in our profession, that Jesus is Lord. And for as long as we have Jesus within ourselves, then kahit na po meron tayong kapansanan sa katawan, meron tayong sakit na iniinda, you, dear brothers and sisters, kahit po may sakit, you will remain strong in Jesus who remains in you. Amen. And now, dear brothers and sisters, let us lift up our prayers and petitions to our Heavenly Father. And for every prayer, let our response be, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. For Pope Francis, bishops, priests, deacons, and all who exercise authority in the church, may they be faithful in their service for the people of God, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of us gathered today, may we see everything through the eyes of faith, that we may realize that everything is God's gift to us, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For the end of the pandemic, may you grant us the healing we need 
and the ways to recover from the detrimental effects brought about by COVID-19, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For all missionaries who have left home, country, and family to proclaim the gospel to all nations, may the Lord protect them from all dangers, strengthen them in their loneliness, give joy to their communities, and fulfillment in their apostolate. May the Lord reward them in this life and in the life to come for their sacrifices and generosity for the kingdom, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for the urgent concerns of our community and our personal intentions. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, listen to our prayers. Grant them if they are according to your will, at your own good time and at your own design. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Liturgy of the Eucharist. Brothers and sisters, that mine and your sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord, may the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for of our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept our offerings, O Lord, we pray, and in sanctifying them, grant that they may profit us for salvation. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit, lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word, through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven, heaven and earth, earth are full of your glory. glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. My Lord and my God, In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant. It will be shed for you and for all, so that sins may be forgiven. Do this in memory of me. My Lord and my God. The mystery of faith. 
When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters, especially Agrippina and Florante Gallardo, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, the Most Chaste Spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, St. Francis de Sales, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace to you. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. 
grant us peace. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ bring us to everlasting life. Amen. An act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and I unite myself holy to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that receiving the grace by which you bring us to new life, we may always glory in your gift through Christ our Lord. Amen. Our prayer for healing. Eternal Father, Lord God, we praise and thank you for all the good things that you continue to do for us. Thank you that in spite of our many challenges in life, our sadness and our problems, that you continue to shower us with many blessings that sometimes we are not aware of. Lord, open our minds and our eyes with a strong faith that we might see how you are providently providing for all what we need. And now, Lord, we lift up to you in a special way to reach out with your healing hands upon those who are suffering in sickness, those who have cancer, those who have diabetes, those who have kidney problems, those who are undergoing chemotherapy and also dialysis. Lord, those who have heart problems and hypertensions, Lord, those who are experiencing some physical pain in their body, especially our elderly, our old people who are weakened by age. We pray for those who are infected with COVID-19 in hospitals, in ICU, in quarantine facilities. Lord, we pray for those who are affected by the pandemic and who are in isolation. We continue to pray, Lord, and strongly that the rate of infection, Lord, will lessen. Lord, may we be able to overcome the effects of the pandemic in our life, in our family, in our country, and in the world. Lord, please heal our country. Forgive the world for whatever sins we might have committed and heal the world with your love. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may the Almighty God bless you and your loved ones, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass has been celebrated. Go in the love and the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. And thank you, Father Emil, for spending your Monday night with us. Marami salamat. Please take care always. And we also pray for your sister as, as she travels. See you tomorrow. My, my pleasure. Thank you and God bless.
strength. Is-